until you understand that, Elisa, I'm afraid you'll be stuck in your sins in a religion that can't save you. But try to remember to read Luke 9.23. Here's another one I'm going to give you. Let's okay. go to the Gospel, and I can't quote, oh, she was, I want to say Luke 19, but I'm, one second here. We're going to talk about the thief on the cross. And that's found in Luke 23. Let's go there. You got your Bible, Sandy. Let's do a Bible study, guys. You got your Bible, Mark Felix? Of course not. <laughs> you did it last time. Now you don't want to do it anymore? No, no. Oh, it's, no it. it's, just, it's not that. No, I got to open it up. That's all. All right. Now, Luke 23. And oh. give me one second. Along the Herod, Herod Solomon, and the Glad. Okay, Herod name. Saying that I'm the men brought. Hold on. Sorry. I'm looking for, this is not what I'm looking for. People, are you kidding me? Sorry, don't go to Luke 23. But we're going to talk about the thief on the cross with Jesus. Come on. Oh. me. Okay, that's found in Luke 30, 20, 23, verse 42. Okay, that's interesting. Anyway, so you got two guys, right? You got two guys on either side of Jesus. Do you guys remember the scene in Luke 20, or in uh, the end of the gospel here? Jesus is dying on the cross, right? Luke 23. What verse? Yeah. Oh, sorry, the verse. Okay, here it is right here. Jeez. Uh, let me change the version here. So sorry, NIV. That's fine. Okay, starting at second like the 40s here. I didn't go down far enough. So, uh, starting at verse 39. So I'm in Luke 23, starting at verse 39. One of the criminals who was hung there hurled insults at Jesus, saying, Are you the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other criminal rebuked him, saying, Don't you fear God? He said, Since you're under the same sentence, we are punished justly, for we are getting what our deeds deserve. But this man is doing nothing wrong. So let's set up the scene. Jesus is on the cross, right? And all of a sudden, the guy on the left says what? Mark, Felix, Alisa? Mm -hmm. What's going on here? The one guy says what to Jesus? Hello? Yeah, yeah. Right, so the one guy was kind of angry at Jesus, right? And he said that what? He's asking Jesus, are you the Messiah? Right? And then, and then what did he tell him to do? What did he tell Jesus to do? Save himself. Save yeah, himself save, save himself. us. Get us down in yourself. The guy is selfish, right? So he deserves to be there. He's getting his just, his just deed done. But then he says to Jesus, or he's mocking him, saying, look, if you're, the, if you're the Messiah, then get us down. And you too. You know. But then the other guy says something interesting, doesn't he, Elisa? The other guy didn't quite say it that way. What did the other guy say? He started off by condemning whom? Else not thou fear God, seeing thou art the same condemnation. And we indeed yeah, just... Yeah, so who is he? Oh, oh my God! What? He just scared the crap on me. Go back to bed. Here. 
Oh. Dad, I'm sorry. My daughter just scared me. I don't see any steps on. I don't see my plan. You go to school tomorrow. Go to sleep. I'm here. I'm sorry. <laughs> Shoot, it sounded like a bomb was going off. I'm like, whoa, what just happened? I know, right? <laughs> that, was a little, that was a little crazy. You all right there, Lisa? A little shaking up now? Yeah, I'm all right now. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> she's, got, she's got school on Saturday? The day started because of the, <laughs> because of the ELA test. She goes for like a prep class, like it, like the SAT prep classes. They have this for her grade. And you're ready for this, Chad? This is an elementary school. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she goes for three hours on Saturday, and they prep her for this test. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. How about that? That's that's crazy. Well, it guys, real quick, I got to um, gotta get going here in a few minutes. Let me just finish this off with uh, Luke 23. So here's, here's the other guy saying, <laughs> and I'll just go through this quickly. He's saying, look, I deserve to be here. This Jesus hasn't done anything wrong. So the first thing that happens with a repentant sinner is that they admit that they're what, Elisa? What's the first thing a repentant sinner does? He admits that he's a what? A sinner. That he's a sinner. He's a sinner. And he puts blame on whom? Himself. 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 There you go. That's the first thing that happens. Then he takes his eyes off him and puts it back on Jesus where it belongs. And he calls him what? Lord, right? He goes, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Oh, these are the two... Uh... These are the two guys that died next to Jesus. That's right. These are the one, two yeah. thieves on the cross. One, one, and okay. one asks him to one asks him to remember him, and and Jesus says that he will. Well, no, I, you, it's, you know, it's more than that. The, one of them says, "You're the Son of God. Save yourself." And the other one right. says, "We are sinners, and we deserve our fate. But this man has done right. no wrong." And then that's when he asks Jesus to remember him when he comes into his kingdom. And then Jesus yeah, promises you know, him. You know what's particularly sweet about that whole story? What's particularly sweet about that story is that this man didn't deserve, didn't think he deserved heaven. I love it. I love the humility of this thief. He's sitting there to Jesus and he's looking at him and he's saying, Lord, would you think of me when you're in your paradise? I love that because that is, Elisa, a non-works righteousness. Right. He he can't do he can't do works. He can't do anything. He's dying on a cross. All he can do is feel bad for sin and well, reach out to could, the one who can save. All him. he could do is what Jesus and God want you to do from the beginning, and that is to admit that you're a sinner. And that you come by this decision of your own free will and sure. ask for forgiveness. That's right. But now, how is he justified here? Jesus said to him, truly, I tell you, today, you'll be with yeah, me in yeah, my yeah. paradise. Right. Look, God, Jesus saves him. It wasn't the guy who saved himself. But there's a lot more to this, guys. The, the, Jesus also talked to people who weren't on the cross. And he told them, look, if you want to be my disciple, you got to follow me. And a lot of times what happens, Elisa, and, and I will say this to you too, Mark, since you were talking about your sister, and this is very sad. Many people think that they're saved. Many people think they're Christians. But they don't follow Jesus, really. They're, they're not obedient to him. They don't think that, they need, that he needs to be the Lord of their life. Look, when Jesus says he's the Lord, that means you're the slave, okay? That means you don't have a choice, and if you are a rebellion, like even if you call yourself a Christian, you're a rebellion against God, you're not really a saved Christian. That's not what Jesus called as a disciple. 
many people call themselves disciples. Now, Mark, I asked you to write down your question. Right. What were you going to ask? Well, I was going to say, how will you know that you are truly saved until the moment of your death? We. Oh, that's a great question. Because... You Great know, question. you are, um, you, when I say you, I don't mean literally you, but you as a generic you, you are making confession to God and saying that this, you truly believe this and, and deep down you honestly do believe it, but how do you know until you're already dead and you're facing judgment and uh-huh. God says to you, you can't come in here. You know, um, that no, it's it's a great question. Um, the way that you know you're saved is by taking tests, okay? To whether or not you're in the faith. First, John gives well, you a test. Um, well, you remember Sermon on the Mount? I, sir, I was just going to say test. Sermon on the Mount when the rich man comes to Jesus and says, "I give in the synagogue. I do what I'm supposed to do." You know, and then Jesus says, well, you have, to laugh, give, right. you have to give everything away. You have to give everything away. Well, and, and the guy looks at him. Yeah. And that's when he says it's easier for uh, a, a camel to fit through the eye of a needle than it is for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. And maybe that's a good a good point to stop on right now. We can bring that up again next week. Definitely. Hey, uh, that's well. I hope we didn't disappoint you today, Chad. Yeah, sorry. I was did he to answer our original here, question, Mark? Well, actually, was... he was about to, and then Elisa got on the phone. So we'll have to bring that up again next week too. Yeah, we'll have to try to get we'll have to try to get the gentleman done. I'd really like to talk to a cap somebody who's dedicated to Catholicism and knows a lot about it. And that way at least I can hear the difference. Um I actually contacted um Catholic Answers, Elisa, and they are a big apologist when it comes to the faith of the Catholic faith. And I have um offered a debate challenge and we'll see if he calls me and uh comes on the show. That'd be pretty fun. Yeah. It would certainly be, you'll pardon the pun, enlightening. All right, guys. Well, hey, <laughs> have right, a really Chad, good listen, night. Have a, have a good hey, night. Elisa, Elisa, Elisa really remember good. Luke, 9, Luke 9.23, okay? That's going to be your key to understanding salvation. And read the thief on the cross story. You know, when you read that, you'll see what a real conversion is. Not a false conversion. It's a real conversion. All right, guys. Have a wonderful night. Mark, Felix, Elisa. Enjoy your week, and we'll talk throughout the week, I'm sure. All right, Chad. All right, Chad. Thank Take you. Take care. Be well. Right. Lisa, you be well. Tell I'm going to try. Tell Sammy to take good notes tomorrow. Tell her there's going to be a short quiz to follow. All right. What else going on? All right. Mark is going to go off into the sunset. Elisa, you want to listen to one song with me tonight, or leave it for another day? All right. We got a couple of minutes for one song. Let's see what we got here. I got one already. I don't know what we got here. We'll play it first, and then we'll see if it's. Let's see what this sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> 